In this video we're going to show you how to replace the engine air filter and right here we have a Mercedes a V8 this is the M113 engine it is found in many Mercedes-Benz models uh, including the CLK E-Class CLS 500 so anything that's a 500 um, ML 500 R 500 everything that's a 500 at the end uh, most likely has this engine uh, this is also um, the same engine just a little bit larger displacement than the CLK like 430 or the E430 uh, the 430 basically um, and also on the, um, the six cylinder um, the M112 engine it's also identical it just has two uh, cylinders so that would be um, you know like a E320 or a CLK 320 SLK 320 ML 320 so it's the same um, so what we'll do is we'll replace the two engine air filters it does, has two one here and one here uh, in this case right here this is an R class it has that plate here the sound plate which just gets removed you have a bolt right here but most models don't have that plate and we have that taken off already so what you want to do is uh, start by removing this um, air duct first you just pull them out like so next uh, we're gonna remove this piece of the engine cover be careful in this case it's been busted and damaged in the past so you just pop it up slowly it also locks here and here so be uh, careful to unlock these two as well and then just slide it forward as you can see there's these two that slide right there and then you have these tabs that have been broken in the past but you can see there's a locking tab there one here and this one right here so we'll put this aside next we're going to remove this piece of the engine cover and to do that all you need uh, to do is just pop, pop it up like so lift it up on the back as well and just flip it over okay so right here we have the two air filters and we have these uh, screws right here they are T25 and they're long so it, it does take a while um, to get them out they don't actually come all the way out they just will come out this much and then you can loosen all of them and remove this piece so we'll go ahead so you can see that's loose and this one. we have one right back here Once you do that, you can separate this part. And here's the old air filter. And look at that. So next we are going to go ahead and install the new air filter. We just press it in there. You need to be careful so that it's pressed in all the way like this uh, rubber gasket right here it needs to be pushed in once you do that just place it back on the engine cover and tighten the screws best to just go on a pattern where you just go across that way um, it helps so that um, it locks properly So we'll go ahead and uh, replace the other side as well. Right here, we have the other engine air filter. Okay. 
that one. You do need to be careful to keep that clean because if anything falls in here, it's going to go straight into the engine. So we'll go ahead and install the new air filter on this one as well. And make sure the filter is pressed in this gasket. Needs to go in or otherwise this might not close properly. And go ahead and reinstall this. Make sure that this, the intake is the opposite of the, the part right here. thing is we need to go and put this back on the engine and the first thing we'll do is we got to line this up right here so here we'll go ahead and place the engine cover back on now the first thing you need to line up is the back over there but you can't really see that very well so these two um, cutting locking points right here use them as guides so right now you know it's place in the right place on the back and then once uh, don't push down here on the front push down on the back first and so it locks in the back and then once you do that you can see it just locks right in it's that easy the next thing we need to do is reinstall this part of the engine cover you'll slide these two tabs right there first and push it in you have to be careful with this one yeah so once that locks right there, you can go ahead and just lock it. Press down to lock it. And then put the two air ducts. They do have to lock on this part as well. So uh, make sure you check down here next to the radiator. And this one is actually the left side. Right side in this case, the passenger side. And, and just looking at them, just maybe marking before we remove them. I don't see any marking for left or right on the hose maybe mark it or they're not gonna go in the wrong place anyway and that's it with this and that's where your uh, mass airflow sensor is and so we need to uh, make sure that's lined up properly there <laughs> 